let's try to make this better currently we can only move this 3d model by clicking on the torus so the idea is if we can set this torus to invisible and cover the whole body then we can select this 3d dancing model so to do that okay let's go to the torus okay the torus consists of my 3d model racer racer and the uh, visual is the torus object okay so if you recall uh, this torus variant is accessible from the prefab okay the location is in the prefab so what we'll do is we are going to make the torus bigger so it cover the whole body and i think we should change the shape to cylinder because torus maybe is a donut we need something that cover every part of the body so i will take a different shape which is more logical cylinder okay so the shape that you choose must be covering head to toe so now torus have become cylinder make it bigger so i select the visual okay now the mesh is cylinder all you have to do is increase the scale so that it cover the whole body uh, you can play around with the visual scale so if i uh, put to one okay one it cover the whole object mm, now we want to make it invisible so the visual if you want to make it invisible you play around with this property which is the mesh renderer so if you look here mesh renderer if i make it untick it okay take it again the mesh collider we can change it as cylinder as well uh, we have the second type so that's the mesh collider so let's test first activate the mouse put it here okay so this is the 3d model but we can't see it because we haven't made the mesh renderer invisible Okay, but we can move it around if you do it correctly you can now move the object around okay so it's quite big now we deactivate the mesh renderer now uh, the object will appear without the mesh renderer now we can move it around the radius of the cylinder is too big you can reduce it so that we can add another character nearby so you can only click at this area uh, not within the cylinder if you try to click within the cylinder you can add new object you add, click outside okay a new cylinder will appear so that's why you can add character nearby to each other okay so if you want to add character nearby to each other you have to change the radius of uh, the cylinder so go to the visual the radius is the scale of probably x okay unlock it x maybe 0.5 is enough x and z 0.5 if x only it becomes an oval shape okay oval shape like this remove all so if it's x x and z it is round so now you can add the next model not too far just next to it okay now if you deactivate the mesh now maybe more suitable we can add near to each other we can reposition if you recall in my prefab for the car the car is replacing the cube so if i open the cube okay the cube looks like this cube is small similar technique I make the cube larger so it is almost the size of the car. So the cube, we can rescale, make it bigger, x maybe 0 0.5. It looks like this because the cube is slightly larger than the car. You can create another car at this area because it's already defined by the cube. You can take this area. So the next available space is here. Uh, now we can make the cube invisible. Okay, go to delete all remove all and we make the mesh renderer for the cube uh, invisible so the next time you add the car it comes without the cube okay just nice and you can add another car in this area it should be in the blank area try this one and 
this one. Actually, there are better technique than this. Uh, this one is just a simple technique. Okay, just make the visual invisible because the visual control whether you can drag and resize the object or not. Uh, the visual should be larger than the 3D object that you added. Okay, so the visual is pyramid, cylinder, uh, wedge, and the torus. And this 3D model, up to you what you want to use. Should not be the same as mine. Okay, so stop the game, save everything, test again, and then if you are satisfied, you can build the game again. If you want to change the name, play setting, change. Maybe uh, this one is Imran number 8 now. This is my default icon. You can change to your favorite icon. And every time you change this name, 8, 9, 10, 11, so on, and then the rest you don't have to change. Okay, just untick and tick the identification to take the latest name for the product name. Okay, close and then file build. Uh, build setting, build. Then this one is version 8. Okay, then we are done.